Hello and welcome. Today we're going to cover the Infinity TV Network Tuners installation and setup. Before we get started, please make sure your Infinity TV 4 PCIe or USB is installed and set up prior to installing the software. Step 1 Installing the Infinity TV software package. Once your PC is booted up, please open a web browser, go up to the address box, and type in www.seatoncorp.com. This will take you to the company webpage. Now mouse over the support tab and go ahead and click on installation and downloads. The Infinity TV installer is the first item. Go ahead and click download and select run. The setup wizard will open up. Go ahead and click next. Now on this screen you'll notice the network tuner wizard is X'd out. That's because it is not a default installation. We're going to move up and select that little box and select install on local hard drive. Now go ahead and click next to start the installation. And go ahead and click install. Let's get it going here. There we go. The process takes a few minutes. We're going to pause the video and we'll be right back. All right, the setup wizard has completed successfully. Go ahead and click finish, and we will move on to step two, Infinity TV Network Tuners host setup. Go ahead and open Windows Media Center. Now we're gonna scroll up to the Seaton Infinity TV section. Scroll to the right to the Network Tuners option and click it. And select yes to continue. Welcome. We're going to go ahead and select Setup Infinity TVs. Click Next to proceed. Infinity TV Discovery Results. All right. You'll notice that the Infinity TV and your local area connection or your network adapter are both listed here. We'll click Yes to configure Infinity TV with these results. We want to note that if either of these options are not there, the Infinity TV is not there, or your network adapter is not showing up, to please submit a help ticket. Now we're going to go ahead and click next to move on. Select your firewall. Click next. Infinity TV tuner selection. This is where you have the option to assign the tuner statically to the host. For this demonstration, we're going to assign tuners one and two to the host system. Go ahead and click next to move on. It's gonna, it says, please note that we're gonna bridge the local area connection and the, and the uh, Infinity TV. This takes several minutes, so we're gonna pause the video and we'll be right back. Configuration is complete. Go ahead and click finish. Would you like to proceed to media tuner setup? Okay. Now we're gonna run through live TV setup. Once again, now that we've changed the settings on the Infinity TV, go ahead and click yes, use this region, click next. Enter your zip code, click next, go ahead and select I agree to the guide terms of service, click next, it's going to download the TV setup data, All right, you'll notice it only shows two digital cable card tuners. It's because we only assigned two to this machine. Go ahead and select Yes, Configure TV with these results. Select Yes. And click Next to continue. Activate your cable card. We're going to go ahead and click Next. This information here is what you will need to pair your cable card with your cable provider. More than likely, this process has already been done, as this is generally a more advanced setup process with the network tuners. But if it hasn't, you will need to call your cable provider and pair your cable card. Go ahead and click Next to move on.
select your TV signal provider and click next. Click next to confirm. All right, TV signal setup is finished. Go ahead and click finish. Now we're gonna move back out to the main menu. Move up to the TV section, over to guide, and we're gonna select a show to verify live TV is working. All right, live TV is working on the host machine. So we're going to move to step three, which is the Infinity TV Network Tuner's client setup. Go ahead and open Windows Media Center on your client machine, and we're going to browse up to the Seed and Infinity TV section and the network tuners, just like before. Go ahead and click Yes to continue. We're going to select Setup Infinity TVs. Click Next to continue. The screen looks similar. It looks familiar. It's the Infinity TV Discover results. It'll show the Infinity TV and your network adapter. Go ahead and click Yes to configure. Once again, if either of these is empty, please submit a help ticket. And we'll click Next to continue. Select a firewall. And then we'll hit next to continue. And you'll notice here that the one in the tuners one and two are grayed out as they've been assigned to the host. For this demonstration, we will select tuners three and four for the client system. And we will click next to continue. And it's done. Go ahead and click finish. Would you like to proceed to media tuner setup? Okay. We're going to set up TV signal. United States, yes. Go ahead and click next. Then your zip code again. Go ahead and select I agree for the program guide terms of service and click next. It's going to download the TV setup data. And there you go, two cable car tuners on your client machine. Go ahead and select yes and click next to continue. Activate your cable card, go ahead and click yes. Go ahead and click next again. As we've already paired the cable card with your cable provider and your host system, you don't need to be concerned with these screens. Go ahead and click next. Choose your signal provider again. Click next. Next to confirm. Setup is finished. Go ahead and click finish. We're going to move back out to the main menu, up to TV again, and over to TV Guide. And we're going to select a TV station to verify that live TV is working on the client machine. He's in that range. And, and we have success. Live TV here, on your client is. machine. Congratulations. You have now set up network tuners. You have live TV on both your host and your client machines. If at any time during this process you ran into trouble, things didn't look right, or error messages popped up, please go to our website at seatoncorp.com. Click on the support tab and submit a help ticket. Our support engineers will get back to you as soon as possible and help you get things figured out. We hope this video was helpful and we hope you enjoy your Infinity TV.